Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to recreate JRY Media's this video. Note, I will use different background and different car clip. First of all, let's download some images we will work on. On PNG Wing I will download Palm images for free. To get the background image in high quality, go to pxels.com. Once you have downloaded images and ready to edit, let's begin with simple speed ramping like in his video. Right click on your video, go to time and select, enable time remapping. At the beginning of the clip, by moving this time choose the beginning of your speed ramp. Go forward where you want the video to end and change the time there as well. Cut the rest of your clip. Now select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Go to graph editor now. Right click and select, edit value graph. Make a smooth curve like mine. If you don't know how to make smooth speed ramps, check this video's description, I will leave a speed ramp tutorial link there. Enable frame blending, click here twice until you see an arrow. Now pre-compose your video. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected, rename it to original and click on OK. Duplicate that layer and toggle off bottom one for a while, rename duplicated layer to background. Now grab a roto brush tool and double click on background layer. We have to perfectly mask out the foreground on the video to delete the background. Once the car and foreground are masked perfectly, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Duplicate background layer and rename to foreground. Grab a roto brush tool and double click on foreground layer. Make sure to unfreeze the selection and click on invert foreground slash background. Then click on freeze button again. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. If you move foreground up you will see the background and foreground are split, that's what we need for the effect. Let's add the image you have downloaded. Place it below foreground and background layers. Go a few frames forward. Select foreground layer and press P on your keyboard to open position. Click on position stopwatch icon. My background changing animation will start from here. Now go a few more frames forward and change position all the way up. Check if you are happy with animation, in my case, it is too fast, I will move second keyframe forward until it will look cool. Once you are happy with it, toggle off all layers and toggle on original layer, go to tracker and click on, track camera, expand advanced and select detailed analysis. As the analyzing is done, select some spots on the background, select as much as you can. Right click and select, create null, and camera. Now toggle on your downloaded background image and link it to track null. Also enable 3D on that layer. Press S and scale it. Also change X, Y and Z rotations. Toggle now all layers and properly position it. Match it to your car position. Cool. Let's now bring the palm image. Place palm image below background layer. I will toggle off all layers to see it clearly. Press S and make it smaller a bit. Now double click on anchor point tool and move anchor center to the bottom of the palm like in the video. Link palm to track null and enable 3D on it. Press S and scale it, change X, Y and Z rotation. Toggle on all layers and let's position it somewhere. I will position it behind the car. Go to the moment where background starts to change, open transform and click on orientation stopwatch icon. Change orientation like this to make it lay behind the car. Then go a few frames forward and change orientation back to normal. If you want more palms, duplicate that one and change position. I will move duplicated palm a bit forward so they will raise in order. Duplicate as much as you wish. Now let's match the colors of these scene. Select background layer. Go to moment where background starts to change and add their exposure effect. Click on exposure stopwatch icon. Add Lumetri Color, Expand Basic Correction, Click on Temperature, Contrast, Highlights and Shadows Stopwatch Icons. Go few frames forward now and bring down the exposure to darken our car clip. Add Temperature, in my case I will make it warm a bit to match the new background. Add Contrast. Bring down the shadows. And add Highlights. Note, in your case the settings won't work, cause videos are different. I just show you how to match the colors of two other scene. Play around with Lumetri colors to achieve a nice look. Let's check what we have got. Nice, I like how slowly my video transfers to a new background look. 
Now let's add shake to our video like in JRY Media's video. I will skip that part cause I've already made that tutorial, I will leave video link in description. That's how it looks with shakes. Let's make few adjustments to our palm animation. Press U on both palm layers to see keyframes, move second keyframes forward a bit to make animation longer. Now select keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Go to graph editor now, right click and select, edit speed graph. Make a smooth curve like mine. Do the same smooth curve on your other palm layers. That's better in my case. Let's now make a text animation like in his video. Select your background layer, go to tracker and click on track camera. Expand advanced and select detailed analysis. As the analyzing is done, select points on the ground, right click and select create text and camera. Move text and 3D camera layers below the foreground. I will toggle of shakes to see the video clearly. Now go to the moment from where you want text animation to start and cut there the text. Cut the ending as well. Type anything you want. Then change size and in position on your wish. Now open text settings. Click on animate and select tracking. Click on add, then property and select opacity. Change opacity to 0%. Open range selector. Go to very beginning of text layer and click on start stopwatch icon. Then go somewhere in the middle and change start to 100%. Animation is ready. Let's check JRY Media's video. His text disappears in a few seconds. So I will make my text a bit longer. Go near to the end of text layer and then press T on your keyboard to open opacity. Click on opacity stopwatch icon. Go to very end of the text and change opacity to 0%. Cool. Now we have to roto brush the car. Cause when we darken the video and match the colors to another background, the car colors has changed. To avoid that, duplicate your very bottom video, in my case the original one. Move that clip to the top of other layers. Delete 3D camera on it. Now rename that layer to car only. Then select roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Mask out the car perfectly. Be careful in the edges. Make selection as smooth as possible. Once you have finished selecting, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Under the roto brush, add feather a bit. Let's match the colors of the car now. Add Lumetri color on car only layer. Go to moment where the background starts to changing. Expand basic correction and click on temperature stopwatch icon. Then go a few frames forward and add warm colors but not too much. That's way more better now. I will toggle on my shakes now and move it to the top. Now let's make text transparent like in JRY Media's video. Click on toggle switches and change text mode to overlay. Nice. Let's fix now the edges of background and we are done. To fix the jitters, select your background layer and under the roto brush tool add feather. Then decrease shift edge. That's amazing. I like my edit. Hope this video was helpful and deserved your like.